don't want to make this episode too long, but uh, definitely could make it a little bit longer. Make sure that is not damaged. Okay, did that work properly? Yes. Well, so might as well have one to we have to choose the location. I think we'll have it up against the hills over here. Nice easily defensible spot. You know, only with the new paradigms in our region. It's going to be built, be built on some straight roads. Instead of just having things any which way. Okay, yeah, that works. That is correct. Organized around one central intersection. And then we'll have a number of connections to the highway from there. Whoop. There we go, that should be plenty of space curves in there, and there, yeah, so, like any town on the middle of an inner city road, it's going to have a little bit of opportunity for commerce, not too much though, this isn't too commercial of a region still. The main focus, I think, is on, um, yeah, rolling out things that matter for residential. So one of those is making sure that there's a school. Hospitals are also pretty important, as is police access. So use this one. A little bit more toward the commercial there. These people are gonna have to live in the middle of there. In fact, I think we'll have some traditional blocks here. This is gonna be where the majority of the population of this little town is gonna live. Here. It's not really the center of town anymore. So we'll just have a few scattered buildings on this road here. Yep, in fact, those are even going to go off a of secondary road there. We've all seen weirder things in the day, I'm sure. Block system continues over there. But again, as you get further from the center of town, fewer people have developed along it. Maybe some have also moved in over here, foot facing the other road. There we go. Looking good so far. Another important thing any town needs is uh, parks and recreational areas. So for that, this is a pretty rural place, so I think sports are going to be very important to them. Might as well start by placing down this soccer field. And you know what? People are also pretty into their baseball around here. Nobody lives right next to the field like that, though. Yep, in fact, they are really into baseball around here. Got two whole fields. The other one is a bit toward the, more toward the edge of town, though. And 
definitely these sports loving people enjoy their basketball too. That's it though. No tennis. That's for that's for another kind of people. Build an empty areas with a little bit of overgrown grass and trees. And looks like overall a pretty good plan for the region. Of course, there ought to be at least a few people who prefer to live way out on the edge of town with large lots where they don't have to see their neighbors every day. Also toward the edge of town, lots of opportunities for agriculture. Expand out into the flatter part of the valley this way. Right. Meanwhile, though, this seems flat enough for at least one field. Okay. Road kind of curves on the hilltop there. Drawing out another road parallel to the highway here. Extending it like this. And let's use the diagonal street helpers. Oops, wrong button. Get this right. Is that on it? Yeah. Alright. It's roughly what we want. Oh no. Looks like we gotta demolish a little bit more of that. Now, at least. So let's put in some of those farms. original trees. Not on both sides of the highway though, that would be a bit hippy dippy for us. It's pretty flat right there. Extended a bit. Oh man, another graphics problem. Seriously? Yep. 
Well, can't afford to worry about that stuff too much right now. Busy zoning some very important farms. Yeah, these are going to be very negative. Uh, hopefully that's realistic enough wherever you viewers are from. Probably not if you're from most of the US, but... Oh, well, that's just a problem, I guess. A bit more diagonal streets. Just because that's the lay of the land around here. Wow. Jeez, that's a bump. Probably somewhere I can do that without making the tunnel. Tunnels are expensive after all. It's too steep to allow me to create the curve I want there, I guess. Looks like I'm well set up. As far as those things. Build some square farms here. It's an important type farm to have, certainly. Gonna be zoning these farms forever after all. Let's not have the row between them quite line up there. Yeah, that's fine. Add a bit to that field. farms we have. Could really use a few more, but in general, I'd call this a very, fairly decent amount. Maybe I could afford to loop this over a little bit. Do it actually. Yeah, that looks fine. There we go. Nice. Make sure that these aren't connected, definitely. Yeah, might as well have that tile covered. And actually have to go around there. So, seems like a decent start for a small town. But, we're pretty much out of time. I haven't placed any water or anything. So, I think we are 
actually going to use this opportunity to end this episode and next time we'll start out with the new development of Blunto. Well, scratch what I just said about waiting till next episode because I just checked how much time there was and it looks like I recorded so much I'm going to have to split my footage into two episodes again. So, might as well finish the last of this with the development of Blunto. And I do have a power plant. I just placed my utility off screen, so or off camera, so hopefully it should be plenty for this. I like the look of those houses, they're pretty nice for first development. And some of these fields start developing too. Very nice. <laughs> I was planning to zone something to a parallel for this field. Yeah, that's it. Well, of course, we want our mayor to move into town. Put you right here. Not too far from the center of the place. That all that's gonna happen. Oh man. It's gonna take a while to figure this button out if we don't rapidly expand this hand. Oh. A lot of you large lot houses. Thousands of people living here. Both along the highway. It's really not this place is here. Oh, this is a nice looking complex building. Might as well have it fairly close to the center of the town. Look, no good spill. Pretty good. Best kind. Build the house with it. Usually, you try to put these things off in the far field somewhere. But in this case, I think we'll put it right by the center of town. Why? Why not? Get our cemetery public pretty soon. I think I want to put that one around here or something. On the roads. Looks like we got a fair number of commuters going out that direction for something else, I believe. Oh, more gas cars. Let me head over here. Quite a few here. Well, I guess Bluffer was much further than that. Anyway. Oh no! I didn't want a mansion right there, but. Yeah, I'll have to live with it, I guess. Anyway, that's a pretty rich-looking small town. Uh, let's see if people are commuting from the furthest town to where they should be. Uh, looks like we're set, so shouldn't be too much of a problem that we have all these rich people here. Actually, I really just like having my mansion right there. I have to use about that. More of the same. Maybe if I had one medium depth block up there. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Then I have the problem with this guy. Yeah. Look, 
problem with the three night cycle putting back on. Seems like a running away from this first play. And I think Winter looks good enough for now. I think we'll finally end this episode. It's gonna end up getting split into two, of course. Uh, so, without further ado, I'll see you next time. When, I believe... Well, I'm not sure what we're gonna do next time, but I'll figure out something good. See you then. Back. Hey, welcome back to episode... Hmm. What's this gonna be? 55, I believe? Of Let's Play SimCity 4. Back in Prospect Bay, you might recognize this town from not too long ago. Maybe not, that's fine too. It's Cemetery Hill. As the name in the lower left probably gave away. But anyway, this time... Uh... Dang, this graphical glitch, I still haven't figured it out. I'm sorry, I really have to get on that. But anyway, this time, we are going uh, to here with the intention of creating a new town to the south. And I believe that this is just about where we want to do that. So maybe we could zoom in a touch. Definitely want to make the... It's going to be off of this intercity road, so definitely want to make the exit noticeable to get there. Uh, what's a good way to do that? Um, Uh, how about maybe a few maybe a commercial building or two right along the highway here? Look, maybe a couple people's houses too. And then the highway is just going to continue along for a little bit. Right out of town and downhill there. Oh, that's pretty steep in fact. Yeah, man, that's kind of steep too. Yeah, that's good. Well, not steep, but, uh, you know, whatever the opposite of steep is, shallow. Anyway, uh, we can build a little driveway out here. better yet, up this way, just so we can have a little bit of agriculture in this area as well. Yeah. Well, not too much. That's about like that. Put some trees in between it and the highway. Yeah, that's all we do. Anyway, I'll meet you on the other side of this road and the new city tower that we're going to. See you in a minute.